Shalom, Haverim. Hi, friends. It's Miss Eve. Can you say Shalom, Eve? Shalom. Oh, who said that? Of course. It is our mysterious guest, Mr. Johnny. Can everybody say Shalom, Mr. Johnny? Mr. Johnny, say Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, Mr. Johnny is joining us because we're reading from the book number four. Four Arba from the Torah. That it's called, book Arba is called Bemidbar. Bemidbar, top, top, top. Before we dive in, please like this video, share it with your Mishpechan, Haverim, with your family and friends, subscribe to our Torah Trump channel on YouTube, and visit us on Instagram at Torah Trump for all the keywords, the Arachim, the values, the mitzvot of each parasha. And lastly, don't forget to download your free activity guide with Miss Eve at shalomeve.com. Are we ready? Mr. Johnny, yes. are we ready? Yes. Top, top, top. So let's begin. This parasha is called Beha Alotecha. Beha Alotecha is a parasha that has many stories. The story that we are telling today has to do with Miriam, with Moshe's Achot, Moshe's sister. Remember Miriam? Well, we all make mistakes. We know that. And some of the most difficult things to keep in uh, in its place, it's our the, 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 our lashon, our tongue, right? To guard our speech, the things that we say, our words, our milim. We talked about lashon hara, speaking badly of others, right? So Miriam, in this parasha, she makes a mistake and she says something that it's not very nice about Moshe. Oops. And, and she, um, she falls ill with a sickness that we also talked about called Tzarat. It's a disease from the skin, right? And some people think it's because it was sort of a punishment because she spoke bad of Moshe. So what do you think that Moshe did? He got angry? Koes? Ukaas? No? He didn't speak to Miriam anymore? No, Moshe had a very good level, a very good heart, and he knew that everyone makes mistakes, including him. So what Moshe did is he prayed to God. He used the words from his lev, his heart, and he prayed to God for healing, right? Moshe said, and we still to this day use these words, when someone needs healing. Five words, I had to count them. <laughs> Chamesh. It says like this. Can you, Mr. Johnny, can you repeat after me with all of the yeah. It says El, El na, na, Refa, Refa na, na, La. la. Do you know Na? It's another word of saying in Hebrew, Bevakasha, of saying please. So El, Na, Refa, Na, La means please, God, heal her, please. Right? Please. It's two times because it's so important. And it's also very something very very easy to remember so let's try that one more time el na, el na. refana la el na refana la top 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 and you know it's very important mitzvah that we do till this day is bikur cholim we visit the people who are sick or ill and if we cannot go in person we can always Call on the phone, yes, or we can send a message, message or Zoom. Mm -hmm. That's right. And we can also just send the good wishes from our Lev. Our Lev. Thank you, Mr. Johnny, or harder, sir. Or send a I get well soon card, right? So I hope you are well and that you remember these words and this very important mitzvah that this parasha teaches us. Neshika? Mwah. Mr. Johnny Nashika, Mwah. thank you so much for joining us. And we will see you next time. Let's say together Shalom. Ready? One, two, three. Shalom. Thank you for watching, Haverim. Don't forget to subscribe. And please, Bevakasha, share it with your friends, your Haverim, and with your Mishpacha, your family. Tada! Thank you. Shalom. The Torah Tron, open the curtain, time to begin the show. Sing along the Torah Tron, this is your story, the play where you belong. Sing along. We present for you today the Shabbat.
treasure 